The conference uh, this year has been fantastic. We have uh, some 500 people from uh, more than 80 countries and if you compare that to the first conference in Niagara Falls, Canada, it's probably 50 or 60 percent increase in the number of people and I'd say double the number of countries. And I would also say that the level of uh, participation, enthusiasm, dialogue is the best we've ever seen. The uh, fight against counterfeiting is uh, never ending. And we've, besides this conference, which I think has grown to become uh, the preeminent conference in the world for uh, law enforcement uh, combating uh, intellectual property rights crime. We've also now launched a series of brand protection conferences which are smaller events that bring property rights holders together with law enforcement to talk about more specific kinds of issues. And I think the more that we can create a public-private partnership and the more that we can help to foster a dialogue of law enforcement people around the world, the more successful we can be combating uh, this crime. And certainly we know the criminals are very good at networking and the internet has made it easy for them to do so. Our way of combating that must, uh, must also certainly include networking. The uh, IP Cr Crime College was another uh, terrific uh, collaborative program between Interpol and UL and taking uh, the, the knowledge that Interpol has about how to train IP crime investigators combining with our ability to produce uh, and distribute online training and educate law enforcement and customs and other folks all around the world about how to more effectively combat IP crime. Uh, now in the future we're looking forward to having it launched in uh, Chinese to have it be part of the uh, regular training in China uh, and uh, we, if we have today 6,100 users I think we can look forward to the future of doubling or tripling that number.